everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprus. In today's video, we will discuss about the bank reconciliation. Bank reconciliation is a crucial accounting process that involves comparing a company's financial record with its bank statement to ensure they align and the process identifies that the dispensaries, errors or fraudulent activities that may have occurred. So, bank reconciliation Reconciliation is used to check the accuracy, the fraud preventions and cash management as well as the regulatory compliances. So let's see how can we manage the bank reconciliation in Odoo 18 accounting module so that you can just dive into the accounting module. From here, we will be able to find the customer invoices, winter bill, and this is the different journals that is available such as the bank, miscellaneous operations and all. Now let's move on to the customer uh, invoices and let's create a new invoice over here. So I'm going to choose a customer over here as someone new and here we can just choose the customer as open wood and I'd like to choose a particular product over here. I'm going to choose corner desk as the product and you can see the price of the product is 147 right and you can save this afterwards you can confirm this invoice so that the invoice would be moving to the password state now we just need to request for the payment from the customer for that you can just click on pay button so in previous versions of odoo instead of pay button we can see that uh, register the payment but it's just changed into pay button in odoo 80 and all other details in the wizard is same as that of the previous versions of odoo and uh, here you can uh, save this so you just need to keep in mind that currently this is an in payment state and after reconciliation only the payment will be moving to the back which means that the payment as well as the statement would be checking and if they are matched we can say that it will be moving to the paid state so in this case we have to keep in mind that the uh, customer invoice reference number as in memo and the customer name as well as the amount so the amount is 147 right afterwards you can just move on to the dashboard and choose transaction so as we just move on to odoo 18 uh, the bank journal uh, transactions here you can see that there is a slight change and as we have just made the payment the payment will be visible under matching existing entries now we just need to create a statement against this for that you can just click on new button and here you can see that we have just got the fields over here but in Odoo 17 or three previous versions of Odoo, there is a slight change. It was not, uh, the UI was not like this. Uh, and here we only just need to provide the date, the partner name, the amount as well as memo, ref memo over here. So I would like to provide the memo as the reference number of the invoice. You can provide the uh, partner name that is open wood and the amount is 147, right? So if you want to create multiple um statements over here you can just click on add and new uh, and provide likewise if only if you want to create only a single statement over here you can just click it as add and close so that that will be created and you can just close that afterwards you just need to choose the payment from here and also choose the um, statement so as i just choose that here you can see the payment and the uh, the statement so once you just close this refer i mean uh, the uh, journal you can see currently it's matched and uh, it will be moved to the paid state so we have just successfully paid that likewise we can also manage bank reconciliation for vendor bills so i'm going to choose the vendor over here uh, someone new so i'm going to choose the uh, Jackson group over here it is mandatory to set the bill date uh, so let me set the bill date over here afterwards you can choose the product so when we just create uh, the yeah uh, what to say uh, the bill it is uh, an expense so in case of uh, creating the statement we have to provide the negative amount in it okay now let me just confirm that and here you can see it's moved to the paid state and we have to click on pay in order to do the further process and here you can see the journal uh, and all other things is given over here so if you want to change the journal and all you can just change it as change and set it as bank so i would like to uh, set likewise afterwards let's click on create payment and here you can see that uh, uh, the amount is 800 and you just need to keep in mind the reference number in order to set this as the memo. 
Now let's move on to the dashboard and in the bank, as you just click on uh, the transaction here, you would be able to find the payment that is created, which is indicated in negative red color because it's an expense, which means it's moving out of the bank. And uh, that's why it's shown as the expense and which is marked as a negative red color. Now we just need to create a statement against this payment. Uh, for that, you can just click on new button where you can just fill out the uh, reference number and the amount is uh, 800 where you just need to set the partner. So we know the partner is the Jackson group. So you can just search for the Jackson group and click on add and close. Afterwards, you just need to select the payment and um, choose a statement against the payment. And you can just remove this uh, filter journal over here. So as you just remove that, uh, yeah, let me choose it once more. Uh, yeah, you can also uh, just click it uh, on uh, validate so that uh, you can just manually validate that. So currently we have just validated and uh, here we have just done with the reconciliation and here you can see it has moved into the paid state. So that's how we just deal with the bank reconciliation in Odoo 18 accounting module. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.